Hey everyone, so I got a few people asking me to do a tutorial on how I did this look, so if you guys want to know how to become this creepy vein slash vine infected person, then just keep watching. So first things first, take off all your makeup, and I'm just leaving my mascara on because I'm going to be applying a bunch of makeup on my eyes later. So taking a white face paint, you're going to start applying that all over your face and down your neck, on your chest, arms, wherever your skin's going to be exposed. I'm just using a brush from e.l.f. It was only a dollar. If you guys are using a grease paint, I would suggest using a sponge, but if you're using a water activated paint like this one that I'm using here, I would suggest a brush. It's a little bit easier. Now depending on the type of paint that you're using, you might have to do a second layer, which is what I did. So after I apply this first layer all over, I'm just going to wait a few minutes for it to dry and then I'm going to go ahead and apply a second layer. And this just makes the color more opaque. So then I'm taking my e.l.f. HD powder and just setting all the paint and I'm using a big fluffy brush. Now taking a matte brown shade from my BH88 Color Cosmetics palette, I'm just going to apply that on my crease and bring that towards the bridge of my nose a little bit just to create a sunken eye look. And you can build the color as you need to. I'm also dragging that under my lower lash line and down a little bit further so it looks like I have dark circles under my eyes. Then I'm going to take a darker brown shade and pat that all over my lids. Also dragging it underneath my lower lash line as well. Then I'm going to do that to my other lid and after that you're just going to blend the two colors together with a fluffy brush. Then I decided to take a black eyeshadow from my Lorac Pro palette and just apply that to the outer V. I also decided to do a little bit of winged eyeliner and some mascara and then I just filled my eyebrows in with a black color and then I'm taking the same matte brown or a little bit darker brown color actually from my BH Cosmetics palette and just drawing some veins on and you're going to go over this with a black paint later but I just like to do this first just to kind of see where I'm going to be going with the paint. It kind of gives me a stencil and it also looks cool to have the two tones of veins on there. So after you get all of that done, you're just going to want to take a black paint, and this is from the same palette that I used, the Wolf Brothers palette, and you're just going to want to take a really thin brush and go over the lines that you just did. And you're going to want the veins to be darker near your eyes and then just to kind of fade out as you go down your face. So after you do that to the other side, you're just going to take that same matte brown color that you used on your crease and blend that under your eye a little bit more to kind of smoothen out the lines. Alright, now you're going to move down to your jawline and your neck and you're just going to do the same types of lines that you did under your eye and just go all the way around your jawline. You don't have to worry about these looking perfect because you don't want them to look exactly the same as the last one so pretty much just freehand this and it's gonna look better if you make some of the lines darker than the others and then just make some taller than the others and just kinda wing it.
You're going to want to do shorter lines once you get around your mouth because you don't want them to go up to your lips. So just keep going around your chin with the shorter ones and then make them longer again as you connect to your other side of your jaw. I'm just doing some light strokes all the way around and it just kind of fills in some of the white areas. So after that you're going to want to draw some lines down your neck to connect to the ones that are on your jawline. And I did thicker lines down here. And you're just going to follow the same pattern that you did everywhere else. And you can also drag that down towards your shoulders and your chest and pretty much you can extend it as far as you want but I just stopped at my chest. And I just did some wispy branches down there too. Now in my opinion I think it looks better the more lines and veins type finds type things <laughs> that you have. So I just went ahead and kind of went crazy and did a bunch of them all over the place. But if you want, if you guys want to do less, totally just do that. And then you're going to want to make sure that those lines connect. So the last and final step is going to be lips. I just took my Vamp It Up by Wet n Wild and just lightly applied that. And I kind of wanted my lips to look like dead and dehydrated, so I just smudged that really messy like and applied some more color in the middle just to kind of give it like an ombre look and smudge that out a bit more. And then I took a black eyeshadow and patted that in the middle of my lips and then smoothed it out a little bit. And then after that, that you're all done. That's the last step. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you want to try this for Halloween, you should tag me on Instagram so I can see it. I'll put my username down in the box below. Again, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.